They're set for football in Big D as their guys will do battle with the Dallas Cowboys. Here's Kai Forbath now to get us started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout Let's go, by the off. Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in downtown New Orleans. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with the Dallas Cowboys. Here's Kai Forbath now to get us started, and we are underway from the Superdome. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a Let's touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Ready? Yellow lady. Check Mike 54. Mike 50. Check, check, check. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Breeze. And this is a catch for the 10 game. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. Well, if you do read man covers, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. Ready, So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Shotgun now for Breeze. He throws and he gets the slant route to Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right there in man-to-man, -man. maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea, double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me, rather than let him shred my defense. Now Breeze finding Kamara. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for the offense. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Again, it's Breeze. Again has it complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing the four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline, thinking themselves and expressing 
Lions to keep their own. We're doing pretty well. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like hey, that. They might just nine. get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Breeze to throw forward on four. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. Well, trying to be bold on the opening drive of the game, but that effort, it proves futile. How many times have we talked with coaches where they've talked about taking the emotion out of their decision-making? I think that opening drive, if he didn't have it in his head to go for it before, I think that keyed into it. They were doing so well, and he decided to really establish something there. They didn't get it. Now they've got to make sure that they don't lose their focus. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. What do you think? Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Brings up second and 11 at the 39-yard line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. What do you think? What do you think? Now Prescott. Throw here is incomplete. Eli Apple, good to the core there as he gets in and knocks it away. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Right there. 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. 26. Hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. 47. Mike, 54. No chance. Mike, 5-4. Mike, 5-4. Mike, 5-4. You got double up, double up, double up, double up. 26. Prescott from the gun. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. To Mario Davis coming in for the sack that time. We go 47. Somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off, and it'll be a turnover on downs. Ready. From the 32 Come on, Nate. Come on, Nate. now, here's first and check, ten. Check. Watch 54. Watch 54. I'm here. Right, Working from the gun, it's Breeze, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Forced the incompletion. That one to get bolded with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll make it second down. Brings up second and four. Ready, 95 56, 95 56. Watch that. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Ready, take. Here's Moore. <laughs> And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Army, Army. Army, Army. Check. Come on. On third down, Murray. And they'll get him down about three yards 
short of the first. No score after one on EA Sports. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. They'll try and run with Murray. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Taking it in from two yards out as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, we had the scoreless first quarter of play. We sure didn't have to wait long into the second quarter to get some action on the scoreboard. So it was the first quarter a feeling out process? I mean, that was an interesting quarter, wasn't it? Because we had some action. We had some good play. Just didn't have any points. So now it's game on. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Well, now they'll try the end around. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a game of six. Anytime the offense shows what they call a shot play or a chunk play where they're trying to get big yardage, sometimes people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to a game that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. Mike by four. Six man. Check curls. Check. And 47. Mike 54. Mike 54. Watch the screen. 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 Yep, yep. Prescott from the gun on third. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demario Davis able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott, and they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Eli Apple good to the corner there as he gets in and knocks it away. I don't know why you would do that. It's almost guaranteed points the other way. I mean, I get it if it's a late-game situation, maybe even fourth and inches. But, boy, that's a huge risk to take. Yeah, now they're set up in prime position going the other way. Throwing on first down is Breeze. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. From 19 yards away. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Everybody, 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. They'll try a little trickery here on the end of the road. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Two minutes to play, first half, long it's 14 day. to nothing. Oh, it's be a long day, fellas. A reminder coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. The business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Going, Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. It's out of time. It's out of time. He'll try and throw for it here. He's got his target. It's calm. Well, they've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. I remember in pregame when we were talking to him on the field, and he took his gloves off and showed us his fingers. A few misshapen ones in there. And now we know why, trying to catch those types of bullets. That was a dart. Yeah, even for a talented receiver, those are tough to hang on to. <laughs> on the jet sweep, here's Cooper. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. No gain on the play. Second and ten. At the 20 yard line. Mike 54. Mike 54. Watch the slant. Mike 54. Mike 54. Throwing on second down. Prescott. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Demario Davis able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So fourth down coming up. What do you expect? They've gone for a time after time. They haven't punted yet. I don't know what's right anymore. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Ready! The Saints well offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. You've got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and ready. says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. You've got some good plays drawn up. You might want to think about them right here. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. Ready? Ready? As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They'll run here. It's low. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Ready, yellow lady. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. On first and ten, here's Breeze. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. At their own 47 yard line.
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They're throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Under, under. We're going to 54. Why? Henry, Henry. 56. Mike, 56. Look at the throw. Prescott. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL. Audi A Sports. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that line? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to Great call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something got, going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll Hatch. find out. Hey, hey, kill, 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 kill. On second and nine, Prescott. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. Cooper was the intended target. Well, partner, let's put a bow on the Super Bowl for Kansas City. What a comeback win. Yet another come from behind victory for Patrick Mahomes and company. An absolute heartbreak for San Francisco. Didn't they predict Kansas City would win the game? Yes, 35-31, I believe, they predicted. I felt like most of the predictions I saw had the game in the 30s. So a little bit of lower score than we expected. But a lot of fireworks down the stretch all by Kansas City. But how about San Francisco? Had the lead in the ball, under 12 minutes to go, and held Kansas City 10 points for three quarters. But somehow, they're winging their way back to San Francisco, trying to understand how they lost that game. Yeah, not only did Kansas City win it, but they ended up winning it by 11 points. I mean, they didn't see that coming at all. Oh, second down. It's Murray. Murray fighting. Lost the football. Yellow lady, yellow lady. We got 21, 21. Here we go. On first down, Murray. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Ready. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Let's go, tight end. Let's go, right here. Now they'll throw the breeze. This is caught by Gibb. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Breeze to another longtime vet, Gibb, for the New Orleans first. Ready. 5-8, Over. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And this is going to result in losing yardage. Ready? They're driven back Ready? to the eight-yard line. General West. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look coming from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Now a second-down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Ready? This will be play number Ready? eight on the drive. It's third and, and goal. And From the gun, it's Breeze. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Touchdown. From eight yards out, 
And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Lutz with the extra point. And that makes the score 21 to zip. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. A first down run for Elliott. Not going to pan out. He'll in fact wind up losing a couple. A loss of two there. Second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. It's our field. Hey, it's our house. Here's Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over, unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against his secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. On third down, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big time receiver. And they're going to go for this. Just one for three so far on fourth down tries. They're trying again. Tight dog, tight dog, tight dog. 47. Right there, 54, right there, right there. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. Check Mike, 54. Mike, 54. Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. We were going to 54, why ain't On first and ten, Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. It's funny when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mentioned, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed defended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he said, right? <laughs> I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to are covered. When you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here we go, 46. Check 49, check 49. Here we go, 47. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Hey, watch the screen, watch, watch the screen. Right there, 54, right there. And again, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Hey, kill, kill! Kill, kill! 47! 26! A second down throw for Prescott. Incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary can really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like the basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to him. Got his man there complete to Gallup. 
And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the 5. They're able to convert a third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run with Elliott. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the 5 down to the 3. So the ball position now at the 3. Here's second and goal. Kid 21, kid 21. Watch the safety. We're going to 54. Why in? Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demario Davis. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Oh, look at this play call. This doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line of game. Jason Garrett might be wanting to reconsider the decision to go for it there. And the Saints will have the football back. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Been a very strong performance for them really on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're on the bench right now, you shake shaking hands with your teammate, hugging him, give him a little dab. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball. The way Looking to throw on second down. Breeze. And he'll be down six-yard line. And that pick just sets him up beautifully right down near the goal line. I remember being in a defensive meeting back when I was in college, and our defensive coordinator says, we're going to call this be who you are defense. D linemen, you play the run. Linebackers, be aware of anything. And secondary, you play the pass. That way, you're all set, ready for whatever they put out there. Following the interception, here's Prescott. The ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Cowboys use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Forbath, the extra point. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. Format to send it away now following the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Ready. The Saints ready. offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something <laughs> like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. Ready. An incomplete lady, pass lady. leads to second and ten from the 25. Heavy, heavy on the edges. Heavy on the edges. Breeze now. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. 
The Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Shotgun now for Ruiz. And Gaines got it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. We're good, we're good. I four, ready. Mike 55, Mike 55. Let's go, defense. Let's get off the field, defense. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Oh, just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Marie's going to throw here. Jim has it complete. And are able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 25 yard line. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check it out. Grace leads this one with Camara. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Maybe just a slight picture on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And taking it to the 15 yard go, line hey. before he's brought down. 96, 96, 96. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Into the red zone, it's Breeze. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Ten Gan there to make the grab. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. I tell you, Charles, you play to the final whistle, I get that. But there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last score. I struggle with it. I struggle. <laughs> But on the other the, the argument, I get it on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. Now, I guarantee you, I know who was really excited. Fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And they'll have good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Well, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. I almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, Control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. TNT Stadium. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line.
This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Dallas Cowboys. And the Cowboys are able to recover. So an onside kick fail in the Let's first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game. And maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. they got to steal it and try and gain an advantage. And they tried. They just didn't get it done. Hey, right, kill, 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 kill. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. What do you think? What do you think? Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Run, 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 run. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. So don't say nothing. Here's Elliott. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 38. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. 47. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. They'll try to run for it. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. First down, Dallas. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. The first down carry by Elliott. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. There you go. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. I got you. I got you. I got you. On first down, Elliott. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Elliott. 
And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate down but alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Trying a little razzle-dazzle on third and short. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. So the offense starts that reverse. Looks like all the action. It's going that way. Then the reverse, and it was like the Red Sea parted. Did your eyes go to the same place mine did? Yes, they all did. All there. Thought yep. the action was going. And then we had to reverse course, too, just as the runner did and come back the other way. He was wide open after that play. Format to send it away now following the touchdown. The Seahawks take over. Let's go, Ford. Let's go. At their own 25 yard line. What? Wilson, the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their 25 yard line. Throwing is Wilson. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. That one good for 14 in the Seahawks. And that's good for a Seahawks. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. What? So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 36, 36. Check the backer, check the backer. What? To throw is Wilson. Dancing to his left. Now he'll pull it down. The end crime on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Mike, 380. Check Mike, 54. Mike, 54. I got you. I got you, son. I got you, son. Hey, switch gears, switch gears. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Score, Cowboys 7, Seahawks nothing. Mike, 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 Watch the screen, watch the screen. Kill, 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 kill. Throwing again on second down. Wilson being chased out left. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A gain of 32 that time. For an offense that has not found the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. What? So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Check. Now Wilson. Bottom time to his left. That is caught in the seven. Last play went for over 30 yards. This one not quite as big, but still over 20. Now the 
Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Let's put that team on the bucks. Wilson going to fake the give and keep it himself. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A one-yard touchdown reception as they are now on the board here in the first half. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Jason Myers now for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be taken very short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it out past the 30. Let's go, About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they get into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tab and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. On second down and four, Prescott. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Looking for his tight end, Witten, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. He's got a score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that put us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was a kicker. you got to remember that now. Come on. Come on. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be taken short. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. That 7 nothing lead of there is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys! Ezekiel Elliott, 70 yards, as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again, <laughs> and, and again, again, and again. And again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Now four bath for the extra point. And we've got a good one, bro, and we're all knotted up at 14.
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. The Seahawks take over. Come on, man. Let's go. At their own 25 yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And Charles Wade touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing. It's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice warrior box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Let's go deep, tighten up. Let's go deep, tighten up. Check it out, Reed. Check it out, check it out. Here's Wilson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Now it's Wilson, forced out to his left. He can run for it, and he will. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First down at the 38-yard line. Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. With that incompletion, a chance to mention the awards now with the season over. Lamar Jackson is expected. He's the MVP, Coach of the Year. John Harbaugh, Lamar's coach. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And Xavier Woods with a pick. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. It'll be a gain of two, and speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two-minute warning. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first-half highlights and analysis from a back-and-forth first half that we've seen. Here's a throw wide complete to his running back right side. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. First down, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Now Prescott on the left side. Gallup's got it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Prescott has caught once again by Gallup. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards in the first down. Ten carry now for Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here in this first half. As his guys are able to regain the lead. Forbath able to convert the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. Format to send it away now following the touchdown. The Seahawks take over first and ten at their own 25 yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Inside of a minute left in the half. Does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or I guess don't do on this final drive? Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he will score. Touchdown, oh, yeah, Cowboys. That's how you and score. a great return as they're finally able to take him down. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the 
touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week, he's smiling. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work... Well, they just run the clock out and go to the locker room. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Wilson steps away to his left. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds yes, now showing <laughs> on the clock. What? An incomplete what? pass on that last play, Check and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. There's Wilson to throw. Gets it to his left. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Here's Wilson going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this is going to be incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Keep playing hard. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And last time out, went for it on fourth down. Turnover, gave him great field position, turned into six points. They've got to recover their chance. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for it. Didn't happen. Get also ready, showed confidence ready, in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. Or that could have been trouble. Well, that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football. Able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounce right back on it. Keeps possession. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Wilson going to fake the give and keep it himself. He's going to get this out to Marshawn Lynch. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. A gain of four on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Hey, keep it up. Keep it up. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line, Demarcus Lawrence. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. And a failure on fourth down on the other side leads immediately to a first and goal. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. 